Hey everyone, my name is David Dunbar, or the Theme Park Evangelist. Using my phone this evening to um, vlog, even though it's always kind of challenging. So, I know I was supposed to vlog, oh my goodness, always trying to find that perfect um, angle. Anyway, um, I know I was supposed to vlog back last Saturday, somewhere, something like that, so... Last Friday, I um, started getting a really bad allergic re reaction to something. I don't know what it was. And it got even worse by Saturday. Uh, this was very swollen. I could barely drink as it was. I was like, what the heck? I mean, I made it work, but still. So, you know, I texted my mom, and I was like, so I got this issue. And um, her and my dad stopped at uh, Walgreens and got me some medication. I said, um, I do need some ice. I said, I don't need a lot, just like maybe a small bag, and if you guys don't want to buy me any ice, you guys can just stop at a fast food restaurant and ask for a cup of ice. It's not a big deal. And they got me this, um, 20 pound bag of ice, which, honestly, I don't even know I'm going to do the rest of it, because as you see, my lips have, uh, returned back to normal. I mean, they don't feel abnormal to me, so... Anyway, um, I went through an entire bottle of Benadryl over the course of three days, Saturday, Sunday, yesterday, and today. Now, today is the first day I've really felt normal in a long time. I know I keep saying that to myself every single day, because that's the thing with being really, really sick. Um, every day is basically another, uh, progression up the step ladder, another progression in my health, and I feel absolutely incredible. I feel better every single day. Um, I'm coughing less and less, which is amazing. <clears throat> I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm still coughing here and there, but I feel like every single day I'm coughing even less than the day before, so, you know, it's a good sign, and I think today is the first day I even thought to myself, I actually am 100% ready to go back to work. My body is 100% ready to go back to work. I still have to wait till next Monday. Um, I technically am not scheduled till next Wednesday, but I do at least want to keep next Monday off because I have a um, anatomy and physiology final. I did call up um, my um, rental house company just to let them know that, hey, if you guys want to send someone out to, uh, to fix the AC next Monday, uh, that would be the best day. Um, yes, our AC has been broken for almost the entire month of uh, July, and because both my brother and I were sick, we've been forced to rely on fans and uh, portable AC units. So, yeah, it's been an interesting month, to say the least. But I already said that before. Anyway, so... You guys are probably wondering why I am even, like, YouTubing this evening, so... Uh, unless you saw my, uh, title, the, um, purpose of tonight's vlog is to introduce my new YouTube series called, uh, How I Met Kay and TJ. And tonight is the very first video, so I wanted to talk to you guys about how I met Kay. And since, you know, I've got, um, all this free time, and as I'm coming to a close of college again, yay! I never thought I would say, see the day when this anatomy and physiology class would be coming to an end, but it's coming to an end. Um, I hope and pray to, most importantly pray, to be done with the class by next Monday, which is why I'm planning on taking the final that day. So that means uh, that I'll have more time for, uh, vlogging, so... <clears throat> the only thing I can tell you guys for sure is the only reason why I will be able to vlog at Grand Carnival next Tuesday is if I don't get uh, to pick up a shift at um, the Ark, which I'm going to try to do because I miss working. I miss being out of the house. I miss being able to just do stuff in general that I normally don't get to do. Or, <clears throat> really, I haven't been able to do in a while, so... Uh, let me, uh, see if I can even pick up a shift 
next Tuesday, which I don't see why I won't be able to. And if I can't, then I'll go ahead and do Grand Carnival. But I'm at least going to try because I really do want the hours. I really do want to <coughs> go back to work. And I would like um, to be able to return to normalcy again ASAP. Anyway, enough of the rambling. So, it was um, late 2012. I had just gotten hired at Publix literally within the past uh, couple of months. Um, I got, or I started to get hired in August. As I, actually, I got hired in August of 2012, but I didn't officially start with Publix until late September. I met Kay between October through December of 2012. It's hard to know for for me to remember for sure when that year I had met her, since I got hired in so late in the year, and also the fact that, um, in Central Florida, there really is no such thing as cold weather. And the cold weather that Central Florida gets is very short-lived. And because Central Florida is not used to cold weather, when it actually shows up, a lot of people take it very seriously and go, Oh no, what are we going to do? It's in the 30s, we're going to freeze. So, yeah, that's why um, I say what I, or what I did. But... I do remember, um, I met Kay primarily in the evenings. Um, I was scheduled all, all over the place, but m most of the time I was working, like, afternoons and evenings, and I only worked weekends when I first started at Publix. So, weekends, and when I first started, I was, like, working Friday evenings, and then I was working Saturdays during the daytime, and then Sundays... I believe I was trying to do, like, afternoons into the evenings and all that fun stuff. Um, I didn't start working Sunday mornings until another year, or for another year or so. And I was with Publix for a very long time. Publix is still the only job I've worked at for more than two years to date, so... That's what I would like to do if the answers in Genesis are the Ark is work at the Ark more than two years to prove that I can be a f more, a more than just Publix for uh, more than two years, so. Anyway, um, so yeah, I was, uh, you know, just kind of pushing carts, and I think I had done this for at least a month. Saw Kay sitting between the, uh, or by the, uh, green recycling bins. So I, I don't think I started noticing her until October sometime. I'm very sure I've been there at least a couple of weeks. And, you know, I was just doing my job. I, When I was inside, I was bagging groceries, and then I would help customers out to their car when, as needed. And I would uh, get to know them and invite them to come back. And I got to know a lot of customers this way. A lot of people would intentionally come through my line just to have me bag groceries for them and take them out to their car, and while I was out there, I would collect carts, and I would bring them in the store, and I, you know, when you're outside, you notice things. You notice where people park. You notice people jogging by. You notice the sunset over Legoland, and I hate to say it, you also notice people that hang outside the store. And that's when I noticed that Kay had been just chilling out in the same spot. Well, I noticed this over, you know, the period of a few weeks to a month. And instead of, you know, saying something to the manager, like, some strange ladies hanging outside the green bins, I decided I would take it upon myself to talk to the person myself. Which honestly was the better idea, because if I had done the first option, guess what? I wouldn't have met her. So I'm glad that I went with my gut and I decided, well, I'm going to go ahead and talk to her and find out what's, you know, this person's deal. Like, why is this older lady just hanging outside of um, Publix every single day? Well, it seemed like it was every single day. I'm sure she had been, but as I said, I 
It was only working weekends at the time, so I'm sure I pretty much saw her every Friday evening, every Saturday evening, and every Sunday evening. That's usually when I saw her. And after this had been going on long enough, that's when I finally, you know, talked to her and was like, so I happen to notice you're uh, sitting in the same spot every single day. Uh, what's going on? Well, guess found out that uh, her uh, house didn't have internet, so she would walk down the road and come over here and I started to get to know her know sir um so well I started to get to know her sorry is what I meant to say if I'm not mistaken I used one of my um gifts which is I used the power of my observation to find something in common about that person well I happened to notice that she was wearing something conservative well I'll tell you this right now. When I first met Kay, it was just her that was conservative. I'll tell you also right now, TJ was not very conservative when I met him. It was because of Kay that he became extremely conservative. So that says a lot right there. So, you know, I uh, happened to point out to Kay, well, I'm conservative. Well, she got real excited because it's not very uh, often for her to find someone my age and at the time, don't forget, I was 17 still, so what was this, 2012? I was born in 1993, so yeah, it was about that. I mean, I had not quite turned 18 yet. I mean, I'm very sure that I'm right, because, um, or hold on, hold on. Was I 18? I'm trying to remember. Now I gotta think about that one. Okay, I had to think about it, so I was still 18 at the time I was about to turn 19. That's what was going on. So yes, I was very young back then. I turned 28 in November, so that shows how long I've known her. So I've known her almost 10 years now. That's a long time. 10 years as of next year, anyway. It will be 10 years by September of... Uh, 2022 that I will have known her officially 10 years. Right now it's been about 9 because I met her at the end of 2012 while I was still 18. Just about to turn 19. So <clears throat> yes, for someone even my age then, I'm sure even now it's still exciting to meet someone young that's conservative. I'm sure it's not as big of a deal now for someone they're mid-twenties, almost in their late-twenties, to say, oh, yeah, I'm conservative. I mean, back then, when for a teenager to say, that's a huge deal, because I was a teenager then, yes. And yes, trust me, I was a teenager of a pretty bad attitude, but, you know. Well, when we first started, you know, hanging out, um, I we hung out as volunteer buddies, you could say. So, Kay and I would, um, go off to these um, volunteer um, organizations. Well, back then, I met her when she was involved with a uh, volunteer group called Americans for Prosperity. And um, there was one day she invited me out to Sebring for, like, a dinner. It was a volunteer event. I was, like, really excited. I was like, oh, cool. This was, like, the very first time we really got to know each other. And this was after we had already been going around walking from door to door and knocking on the doors and, you know, asking, do you support this, do you support that? Just like TJ still does that with K, I did that at one point, too. You know, TJ is much more um, big about that kind of stuff. Also, TJ actually does do that for a job, and they pay pretty well. I heard they pay up to 20 an hour, which is pretty insane. But it's not something that just anybody could walk into. You have to be willing to walk around outside, no matter what the temperature is. You have to be willing to do this 40 hours a week. You have to be willing to do this in the rain. And you have to be willing to talk to any complete stranger about politics. And, and that's a pretty scary thing. And the fact that it's all on the conservative side. And you have to be careful about where you go because... You know, obviously, they can't go out into a place where there's no soliciting it. <coughs> they have to <clears throat> look for um, 
houses that say, you know, no soliciting or anything like that. So, you know, they're always very observant on that. And, you know, I completely understand where that or where they're coming from on that. But I just wanted to let you guys know, yes, I did do that kind of stuff back then with K. And, you know, I did this for a while, and then eventually I was just kind of like, really? Do I really want to keep doing this? Is this, you know, what I believe in? Is this <coughs> my interest level? I mean, of course I believe in it, but is this something I really want to give or devote my time to every single week? And I wasn't doing it for money. I was just doing it because I wanted to. So I basically pulled her in a side. I said, okay, I really like you as a friend. I really do. But can we hang out just as friends and not volunteer buddies? And you know what? She actually agreed to it. And that's the reason why we actually did end up becoming true friends after that. Because I finally came to her and I said, you know, look, um, I really like you as a friend, but... I would rather just hang out with you just as friends if it came down to it. And I'll also, you know, be honest with you guys. When Kay and I first hung out, we didn't really have any, like, propaganda on when we did things. Um, we didn't really do a whole lot when we first hung out together. In a lot of ways, you could say TJ brought out the best of us, as funny as it sounds. But yeah, Kay and I didn't really eat out a whole lot. Um, our hanging out time back then was more geared towards uh, the odd occasional me helping her out with um, volunteering. And also, um, I uh, used to hang out with her just at her place. That's actually how I got to know Del. I, I don't know what it was about meeting TJ, but... I personally believe that meeting TJ is what started getting us to hang out more often. Like, literally, it strengthened my friendship with Kay to the point where I was hanging out with her at the theme parks. We were going to Old Town together. I was even going to her place more often. Eventually, I learned that she knew how to tutor, and she was willing to do it for free. And, um... Kay started um, doing stuff with TJ and I. Uh, the three of us used to go to Universal every now and then. And of course, the three of us loved going to Disney Springs. That was like one of our favorites. And we started eating out more often, I noticed. And this was all after TJ came in the picture. Isn't that funny how that works out? But I wanted to let you know that before TJ showed up, it was never like that at all. Like, you could just say that, um, when I first met her, I was just focused on my high school life, then I was focused on my college life. I I don't even think I really talked much about my uh, college life to her. In fact, I didn't even know her well enough to even invite her to my high school graduation. Now, on the other hand, by the time I graduated from college... I knew both her and TJ well enough that I was like, yes, I would like you to come to my college graduation. No, that was not my official college graduation. And even though I do officially graduate from college with my associates in October, I couldn't see them coming all the way up here just to do something with me. So I figured maybe next February, TJ and I could do something. And I still am not trying to say this, but... Uh, out loud, but I do have a friend coming up, up here in December. I'm still not going to say who it is, but let's just put it this way. Uh, this friend and I probably could do something together to celebrate my college graduation in December. Uh, more than likely, that's another time that I'm going to celebrate my college graduation is in December when this friend comes here to Kentucky since um... The odds of me getting both TJ and Kate up here at the same time in October is almost impossible. And since I won't be able to go down to Florida this year, I figured I'll just do the next best thing and just wait and see my friends in person. And then I'll do something about it. Anyway, since 
I really didn't do a whole lot with TJ and K. Um, well, I shouldn't say TJ and K, sorry. Since I didn't do a whole lot with K before I met TJ, we're going to go ahead and skip to how I met TJ. And since that's an interesting story in itself, I think that will be the next chapter or the last chapter I'll do for the night. Once TJ gets into the picture, it's going to get very interesting, my whole YouTube series, because it was actually because of TJ meeting me, or me meeting TJ, that even my own YouTube channel got interesting. And trust me, I was not a YouTuber before I met TJ. Actually, the whole YouTube channel started after I met TJ. See, TJ did influence a lot, and sometimes I have to stop and remember that TJ influenced so much of my life over the past five years, and you gotta give him credit. Sure, he could be a pain in the butt, but at the same time, he strengthened my friendship with Kay, he influenced my YouTube channel, he's also been the primary uh, person in my YouTube channel. He's even started his own YouTube channel because he's enjoyed my own. Which, honestly, I'm surprised he didn't start it right after I started mine, since <clears throat> he's pretty much one of the main reasons why I even started. Besides the fact that the Tim Tracker is the primary reason for me to start my YouTube channel. And also, TJ is the reason why the three of us even hang out together. Because TJ actually likes to get out and have fun. Versus... Things are more simple and laid back before him. So, yeah, I just I want to give him that shout out. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. And always remember, you can do all things through Christ strengthens you. Have a great night. Peace out.